Hey everyone, jumping on for another YouTube reconnect, you know, just go over some of the weeks of recovery from top surgery, easing back into workouts, and then just getting more into weekly updates. So, uh, recovery from top surgery, I am so happy to be at the six week mark. That means I can get back to more strenuous activity, lifting, so I don't have to be as worried about weights, about reaching, about anything really. Obviously, I don't want to go super heavy with the weight and I want to ease my way back into it and we will get there and I'll talk about that a bit more. But obviously, listening to your body is the most important for uh, top surgery and your recovery and getting back to working out and just life sooner. So my first week of recovery, I was like down and out. I had taken some of the painkillers. I had my drains in. I wasn't doing much of anything. I was eating lots of veg, fruit, lean meats, you know, trying to be super healthy, whole grains, all that good stuff, because that's only gonna help me recover faster. So I tried to be very keen on taking care of my body, resting a ton. I colored a bit, I read some books, I watched some shows, I slept, I eventually started walking, uh, short walks, later more so in the week the first few days you know you just need to take it all in you need to recover so um once I felt up to it then I was ready for just some short walks but obviously the drains having them in isn't very comfortable so they were never too long because once it got too sweaty I was just like yeah don't like it so then next following week I had my drains removed that was huge um yeah, that first week, I didn't have a ton of drainage, but it was, you know, just nice knowing that anything that was going to cause infection or swelling, it was being removed. So only helping a uh, faster recovery. And I had my drains taken out at the end of that two weeks or at, at end of that week, sorry. And yeah, having them in for that week was enough. And like anyone else knows that's had them. Having those taken out is like one of the best parts because you also get to see your chest for the first time, which is incredible. So sort of getting to see it in the mirror as I take off all the gauze and bandages and things like that, it was just overwhelming with emotion. And yeah, I had quite a day that day. Um, and also your body's just going through a lot because you're taking the drains out. You're getting so much blood flow, so much sensation back to your chest that you didn't have before. So don't be surprised if you feel lightheaded or anything like that. It's totally normal and to be expected. So I actually felt quite nauseous that day and had to come back uh, to Kingston because that's where I live. And it was about a two hour drive from the actual office where I had it done. Um, and Dr. Armstrong was the one to actually remove the drains. But uh, yeah, I was feeling pretty rough that day. So then I just rested and eventually felt better and better. And then, you know, week three, you're feeling even better because you've recovered that extra week. You don't have the drains in anymore. You can start reaching a little bit more. Feels a lot more normal. And increasing the walks a little bit, duration, um, distance, and yeah, just maybe another walk as well. So just getting a bit more active, feeling better. And it definitely gets tougher as you feel better because you want to get back to regular life, but your body isn't ready for it. So your mind is, but your body's not. So you have to kind of, you know, balance it out that way and figure out what is best for um, your mental health and your physical health. So walking a little bit more week three and then week four, I'm feeling pretty much fully healed. I know I've still got some numbness and I'm still, you know, range of motion isn't what, isn't what it used to be yet, but I am feeling really great. So I feel like I, my energy is coming back. I can go for longer walks. I can just do more. My brain <laughs> feels a little bit more alive again as well. Um, just obviously not on any painkillers or anything like that wasn't taking any pain medication at the time and so just uh I was taking CBD CBD has been a big help and I'll always opt to do something that's more natural versus taking more something more artificial 
So the four weeks of recovery all in all was not so bad. Definitely that first week was the toughest, but once you get through that, everything else gets easier. And you know, once you reach that four weeks, you take that binder off and it is so worth it. And I just couldn't wait for that day. And I sure you feel the same excitement once you get there or have already had it. That's the cool part is that I'm going through this experience and I'm getting knowledge from people who have already gone through it. And then I'm also providing knowledge to people who haven't yet. So I've got a great community here and a plethora of knowledge. Uh, so at that four week mark, my surgeon told me that I could get back into workouts. So I was all gung ho for that. Obviously, I'm listening to my body, but I wanted to see how it felt. So I started with recumbent bike, just sitting on a bike, pretty low and slow. I did for about 20 minutes, walked on the treadmill for half an hour, felt great. And then the next time I did uh, more intense cardio, so I tried a bit of running. I was worried maybe about the bouncing or the chafing of the nips with my chest, but no issue, felt really good. I actually felt like I had pent up energy. So I was just like, <laughs> didn't want to stop running. And yeah, honestly, it just felt really good to move and sweat because sweating was something I wasn't trying to do while I was recovering because with the binder, with the drains, it just gets really uncomfortable. Next, after I did higher intensity cardio, I moved on to more isolated abs. So obviously not reaching over the head, but doing lots of crunches, uh, Russian twists, um, anything that just didn't involve reaching over my head. So even just knee crunches, leg raises, all of that felt totally fine. Then moved on to isolated arms. So like bicep curls, tricep extensions, things that didn't involve so much my chest or my back that I could move my arms and see how it felt and would feel the next day. So next day I came, felt totally fine, recovered well, wasn't in any pain or anything, didn't feel any stretching or pulling on my incisions. So overall was happy with that. And obviously I have had perioroller top surgery, not double incision. So all of my experiences are from these types of incisions with the sun shape, so the circles with the stitches all or sutures all around. So the larger and the smaller incisions sutured together versus the double incision. So that's just something to keep in mind always with my um, advice. Next, I moved on to weighted legs. So there's holding dumbbells in my arms as I squat, um, as I did lunges. So it kind of felt nice because I could just like hold the weights out. It would, you know, stretch my chest because if anything, I feel like I've gotten a bit tighter. Um, from working or from working out, not working out, from just sitting and kind of rounded shoulders. The binder does that. It'll just affect your posture poorly. So um, it felt really nice to have that stretch and to hold the weights in the shoulders, chest, back, all of that, and felt fine the next day. So I've tried a little bit of chest as well now, so I can do like a chest press. And it feels fine as long as I don't pull my elbows back too far. Once I do that, then I feel a bit more pulling on my chest and maybe the incisions as well. So if you are going to try a chest press, just keep your range of motion smaller and more out front of you rather than dipping back behind. So a good way to kind of do that without worrying about going too far is doing it on the ground. So that way there's no way you're going any further than that versus with a bench, you can get a lot further back. So try it on the floor, if anything, and always try super light, work your way up. Never jump right back into where you were because it'll be a reality check for you. Um, and then same goes with back exercises. So when I was doing like a bent over row, if I pulled my shoulders, or my elbows back too far, I'd feel that pulling, that stretching a little bit, like I said, same as the chest. So even if I could just take it to about here for now, then I'm still engaging my back and I'm not pulling on my incisions. Nobody wants to stretch their scars. We're trying to minimize scarring. So just being more mindful of those feelings of stretching, pulling, or pain, that's what we don't want. If it feels like muscle fatigue, that's what we want. 
So overall, that's kind of how I've been working out lately. I'm getting back into my regular routine um, and feels really good. I'm really happy to be back and kind of get to work more so now on my chest, kind of shape it and create what I've always envisioned for myself. So I'm very excited about that. Um, but yeah, getting back into regular workouts, just lighter weight and working my way up as I go through it. But going forward, I'm going to be doing more of these weekly check-ins. So just about, you know, life lately, what I've been up to, what's new with my workouts or what's new with nutrition, fitness, stuff like that. Talking about trans stuff, talking about anything and everything. Just kind of giving a check-in once a week or it may not be exactly once a week. Maybe I'm away or something like that, but I'll try to do my best one to two weeks who knows? It could be more often. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But I just want to give these check-ins to be like, hey, here I am. This is what's going on. This is what's happening in life because it gets by and it goes so fast. So have to document it. And yeah, just want to share more with you. So really appreciate you being here, checking in and stay tuned for the next vid. Always check out Gymshark and have a great day. See ya.